B.A. Bellick here, and I'm back with another entry in my Storyteller of the Month series. This month, I'm looking at another book from the Reader Views Award Contest. Not long ago, I read Sam the Chosen. That was the fiction book of the year. If you have been following along, you know I read and write all over the place when it comes to genres. I am at it again, as over the last few months, I have moved from reading fantasy, P.L. Stewart and Wally Jones, to reading a sprawling family saga, Greenwood by Michael Christie, to dystopian, tender as the flesh. And now, I am reading YA drama. Last year, my debut novel, Someone's Story, won the Reader Views YA Book of the Year. I bring that up because one of those other books I grabbed was Blue, the book that won the same award Someone's Story won. What made Blue special is not only did it win YA Book of the Year, it also won third place in overall fiction in the Reader Views contest. And Blue comes with other indie awards too. 2021 Spark Award winner, 2021 NYC Big Book Award Distinguished Favorite, 2022 Independent Press Award Distinguished Favorite, 2022 Independent Publisher Book Award Silver Medalist. Wow, champion strong. Before we get into the book, let's take a look at the author, L.E. Delano. In her profile, she mentions being a proud autism mom. I know the impact autism can have and commend Ellie for raising awareness. The other thing she mentions everywhere is that she has a theater degree, which she likes to cite as being, air quotes, useless. And that is not her opinion, but rather a reaction to the way the program is viewed by outsiders. Ellie worked in retail, corporate training, and sales where that useless degree added huge value and skills. Plus, that degree gave her the tools to one day tell these stories she had inside her. Useless, I think not. I love the tab on her website devoted to her public speaking. She has a variety of workshops and even has a discussion guide for Blue. Fantastic stuff. Ellie was a guest in January 2022 on a podcast and the listen was great. If you are looking for way more insights into her career and some writing hints, give it a listen. There's a link below. If you're looking for her on the web, she is active on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. She also has a great website that can get you to any of the links you might want. And Blue is not her only book. In fact, it is her third novel. Traveler, which has a thousand reviews on Goodreads, as well as the sequel Dreamer, were both published by Swoon Reads back in 2017 and 2018. Those books are YA romance sci-fi, and they deal with time travel and multiverses, something making waves in the Disney movies the last few years. Before we get into Blue's plot, let's take a look at some of the finishing details. I love the cover. It is very catchy. The baby Blue grabs your attention and the image of Blue herself is well drawn and easy on the eyes. The formatting of the book is also beautiful. The margins include tears that subtly change with the pages and the text message bubbles used for phone conversations looked awesome. Very well done on formatting and it adds to the reading experience. So what is Blue about? At the core of the story is high schooler Blue, and she is struggling with drama that stems from a horrific fatal accident her older brother caused the year before. She feels outcast and takes solace in the new kid at school partially because he doesn't know about the drama. As you read, it turns out everyone in this book has more to their story, and the last third is where these secrets come to light. On the character front, they were all great, but I tend to gravitate towards small supporting characters. For me, my standout was the mum. I just love the comedy we see through Blue's thoughts as she interprets her mum's various MLMs. I watched Lula Rich on Amazon Prime a few months back, and I am familiar with the common trends in the MLM industry. Highly recommend that docuseries as a companion watch to Reading Blue, as it will make the mum character here even better, because you will find yourself thinking back to the hijinks of that documentary every time Blue sees her mum's MLM inventory. Another huge strong point on this story is the length. The book is short. That isn't a bad thing. There are no wasted pages here, and I also like the short chapters. Ellie treats pages like real estate. Each moment is carefully selected, and if not necessary, she speeds through the plot only to slow down for the moments that matter. This is a very well-paced book, and the length is a huge factor in that. I like to give comparables. Obviously, I highly recommend this for everyone who has read someone's story. The more mainstream titles and authors would be Perks of Being a Wallflower or anything by Jennifer Niven or John Green. About a year ago, I covered K.A. Wiggins. I can see the crossover and fans of Threads of Dreams should check out Ellie Delano and vice versa. 
While I'm talking KA, congratulations. Threads of Dreams was recently shortlisted for the Whistler Independent Book Award. And before that, she was named the president of Sewell. Two great accomplishments. Anyways, what did I give Blue? Five stars. Don't take my word for it, though. Blue comes with huge accolades and has bested hundreds of books on the indie scene to rise to the top. That's it for Blue. A quick update from me. I just released my Crawling cover. That song was a fun one. If you are a fan of Linkin Park, we took Crawling and turned it into something you have never heard before. It's haunting and chilling, and I am so happy with it. Until next time, stay safe, keep those minds sharp, and happy readings.